Welcome. Welcome. Going to Bayou Liberty this morning. And it is raining, obviously. Uh, this front should be going through here in a little bit. Should be done in a couple of hours. Uh, had a big front come through yesterday, too. Went and took their money at the Lacombe Friday nighter. Fishing was tough, but it looked almost like it was still, in, I'm gonna say it again, it looked like it was shad spawn. Uh, the fish I caught, the good fish I caught was literally as the sun was going down and he was busting up on a bulkhead chasing shad. That's what I'm gonna key on this morning. You know, I haven't been out here in a long, long time. So I'm literally just gonna go and hit the bulkheads, especially during the morning part anyway. I hope all this rain has not tore it up too bad and muddied it all up. But it may have, we'll have to see when we get there. Probably gonna be a small crowd. Yeah, probably gonna be a small crowd. But, tournament life for you. It's a muddy. We are probably going to go into Palm Lake Bayou. They're falling tide like this. They ought to be there. The tide's absolutely rolling out right now. We gotta do something different. Water's muddy. Not liking this. Looked at it. He took it. Barely took it. Water's absolutely beautiful right here. I mean, beautiful. Water temps are 71. I mean, they should still be in there. Probably can go fish Palm Lake itself and catch some fish. One day like today. Cloudy skies. I mean, come on. What's not to like? These fish probably went a little deep actually because of the thunder and lightning. This is not 
that good. Come on, Chris. You gotta figure something out. I, I thought this the morning time would be the time, you know. There he is. Little bitty thing. I don't even know if he's 11. But it's a good sign. Most definitely a good sign. I only had a bite. This watercolor ain't too, too bad. It's muddier toward the lake. There you go. Ooh, that's a decent fish. Please don't come off. Please come in here and join me today. Take a ride with me. Thank you. I appreciate that, buddy. Alrighty, get some points today. Hey, we got a fish. Hey, get out. Grab you. What do you weigh? Huh? What do you weigh? Not bad. Point nine four. Numero uno. Take a ride in the Phoenix today. Alrighty. Uno fishy. And he hit it hard. He hit it like he wanted it. I tell you, I love tugboats, but man, are they scary. You never know if the darn things they're gonna throw the hook or not. They get to jumping, about to have a heart attack. There he is. Ooh, let me come off. That was a good one, dude. That was a good one. God, that was a fish. Oh. pounds That's in there good, guys. Oh, that's not good. Thankfully, that happened in an area you can't see. I'm gonna do some short strikes today. Post frontal. Always gonna deal with short strikes. There he is. There he is. That spinner bait. <sighs> Come 
mate and got that spinner bait. It's a War Eagles, I think it's 5 sixteenths ounce. Yes, sir, he's 11. Point five nine. A total of 1.54. Yay. Number two. First fish on that spinner bait. This is a war eagle. A 5 16 ounce. It's hard to find a spinner bait or anything really with purple in it around here. Indiana silver blade and a gold Colorado, but the key is that purple. It's hard to find anything with purple around here. And that, these fish around here love purple. Oh, you got birds? Sorry. <laughs> that bird in there probably, what the hell? Hailing outside. Did not realize that was a fish. I give this tournament away just now. I've lost it. With them two fish I've missed. I've lost this tournament. feel like a freaking bite. I just pulled up on it and it was like a hung on something. And all of a sudden he just yanked it down. And then it was too late. I didn't get a good hook set. <sighs> Come on Chris. Cannot be missing fish like that. I don't think he was all that big though because he took off quick and he felt me. He took off real quick. Big ones don't normally do that. They'll take off but very slowly. Not a good morning. No, she is a good morning. I've caught a couple of fish. I'm alive. Guess I can't complain, huh? Don't do no good to complain. Can't keep educating them. You gotta catch some of them. Hey. Number three. Six three. That gives us a total of two point one eight. Ooh, hammers. Catching hammers. Let's see, so we've caught them on Joe Bug, spinner bait, and had one on on a flipping. Had a hit on a wobble bubble. What we need to do is catch one on a on flipping and catch one on a wobble popper. And 
we'll just have everything, won't we? Hey, yes. Ooh. No. I don't even think he's 11. Pity thing. Eight, nine, ten. You ever feel like you want to stop? You ever been close to the top? You ever looked at your past and kept moving forward and never looked back? It's a hard knock life full of sacrifice. It's the only way to live when you know the price. It's the only way to move when you know it's right. It's the only way I know to fight the good fight. Yeah, and I done been through it all. Stood tall with my back against the wall, lost it all and got it back and answered my call to the light from the dark, to healing a broken heart. Never give up, you gotta see the future in the bigger picture. This is the fight of your life, you're looking in the mirror, and the belief that you have will help you see it clearer. This is your moment of clarity, it gets no realer. I'ma keep fighting, I will hold my ground. I'ma keep fighting, ain't nobody ever gonna hold me down. Come on, baby, don't come off. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Don't jump, don't. Yes, got Cooper. He is barely hooked. Like, look at this. <laughs> wow. Please be 11. Please be 11. Come on, folks at home, keep your fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, he's 11 and a half, just like the rest of them. We freaking killing him, huh? Hammers. <laughs> With any luck, we'll have a five pound limit. Eight, eight. Two point eight eight with four fish. Number four. I'm on the miles, no towels for the blood and the sweat. Just a heart full of fight and a soul full of vengeance. I'm full of hope, no time for regret. I'm a champion and I reign supreme. This is my time. Crown me king. I'm a legend and I reign supreme. This is my time and I'm living my dream. I'ma keep fighting, I will hold my ground. I'ma keep fighting, ain't nobody ever gonna hold me down. Well guys, four fish. Four fish for 3.02 pounds, that's what I had. It was a tough, tough day. However, it was pretty much shooting par because out of 17 anglers, I ended up fifth place. Not too darn shabby. Uh, just a tough day on the water. I saw it. Big front pump come through. A lot of rain dropped the day before and that morning. We did what we could. Uh, let's see. It took only 4.71 pounds to win it. That was the limit by CJ Pichon. Uh, and then second place was John Cahill with four, a limit weighing 4.27 pounds. Third place was Bill Doris with a limit weighing 3.70 pounds. That's five fish, folks, for 3.70 pounds. Still a great day on the water. Anytime you get out there and have fun, it's always great. So I really appreciate you guys watching these. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share it with your friends, and I'll see y'all in the next one.